Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Mastery Tutoring. I'm a tutor Kara, and today we're going to be deriving the quadratic formula from completing the square. So uh, before we start, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, by you by you subscribing to our channel, it helps our channel to grow. And then also please uh, share the link with your friends, um, your your WhatsApp groups for mathematics, your Facebook groups. All social media groups, you know, for mathematics uh, and physical sciences, you know, let your friends know about and, and your fellow matriculants and you know, let them know about this channel because this is something that is really going to benefit them, especially given the fact that we are currently on lockdown, you know, so this is something that, you know, a lot might benefit from. Without further ado, let us jump into this uh, derivation. So the quadratic formula is derived from what we call a uh, quadratic equation. So quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation is given by, suppose you have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So I want you to remember something here, right? The a, b, and c are constants so these are constants you know like um so but then however x or x squared rather it's a variable you know so this is what we call a quadratic equation so we're going to derive the completing the square formula from the quadratic equation so let me write it down here ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero so now the first thing that you need to do, the first rule of, of, um, of completing the square, right? So right now, actually, in fact, I want you to switch off your mind. Forget about the quadratic equation. So just follow every step, everything that I'm going to do, follow with me. Uh, you're going to see us, you, you're going to see us getting into the, con uh, what is it, the quadratic equation. So forget about the quadratic equation, follow everything I do. So if I divide by A, you divide by A. If I multiply by 1, you multiply by 1, whatever. Okay, cool. So now um, we're starting here, right? So the first thing that we're going to do, the rule, it says we have to divide uh, the whole the whole equation by A. So the reason why we do that, we want the coefficient of x squared. So we want the coefficient of x squared here to be 1. Therefore, to make it 1, we have to divide the whole equation by A. So this is going to become ax squared over A plus bx over A plus c over a is equal to 0 over a. So as you can see, we, we, we divided the whole equation by a. So now the new equation, obviously, this a's will cancel out. You're going to be left with x squared plus bx over a plus c over a. And then it is, it is equal to 0. Any number divided by Sorry, 0 divided by any number is equal to 0. Okay, great. <clears throat> so now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the coefficient of x. So you take the coefficient of x. Let me just circle it with red here. You take the coefficient of x, um, and then you do the following. Just follow me. So this is what we're going to do. We copy the x squared as it is, and then you say plus b over a x plus so now we're going to add a zero so we're going to add a zero so this is what we, this is what i call adding a zero you add a zero like like zero like oh so this is going to be so this is how you add a zero right you say one over two times the coefficient of x the part that i've circled there so this is going to be b over a you put it in in close brackets and then you square it right so because you've added it here, we're going to subtract it again. So this is going to be minus 1 over 2 times b over a squared. This is more like you added, z, like you didn't do anything, like you didn't add anything. Because this whole thing, it becomes a 0. So now don't forget the, a, the c over a. So we say plus c over a is equal to 0. Okay, great. So moving right along, right? I mean, when you check this expression, right? This part, this part here, 
the one that I've, I've, I've just circled now in red. It's like, it's not in there because it's a zero. You add it and then you subtract it again. So it's like, it's a zero. Okay. So now, um, <clears throat> we're going to move on now with, this, with, the, with the solution. I forgot these. Okay. So now, the next step is you're going to take the first three terms of this equation, of these new equations, right? So, these terms. So you're going to put them in brackets. These terms. These first three terms. Let me circle them. You put them in brackets. So let me rewrite them as follows. Allow me, this is going to be b over 2a in brackets squared. And then I put this whole thing, I'm going to put it in square brackets. Minus b over 2a squared plus c over a. Okay, so you see that I only took the part that I've circled in red and then I put it in bracket. I didn't change anything. Nothing has been changed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to factorize what is inside the brackets. So what is inside this, the square brackets, we're going to factorize it. So this is we're going to open two brackets, obviously we are factorizing. So this is going to be the first terms there is going to be x, x. I'm, I'm not going to explain in details factorization because I believe, um, I assume that you know how to do a factorization. But if you don't know how to do a factorization, leave a comment below. I'm going to make a quick short video that explains how to do a factorization. So now you take the factors of b over 2a squared. So the factors of these are going to be uh, b over 2a. Let me just write it. Okay. Anyway, so this is going to be Look guys, um, this is b over 2a in brackets squared. This is the same as b over 2a in brackets times b over 2a. So now, it's like, it's like saying that you have x squared, which is x times x, you know. So just like here, we had x squared, and then we said x and x, so now here we have b over 2a squared, we're going to say b over 2a, b over 2a. Now let's do that. So this becomes b over 2a, b over 2a. Now we take this plus sign here. Okay, it doesn't appear like a price, like a plus. Let me edit that. You know guys, my handwriting is really bad. So you take this sign, you drop it down here, this becomes plus, and then you take this sign, you multiply it with that, still positive, then you put it down here. Or if you like, you can just take this one and put it here and take that one and put it here. Every time when you're doing this proof, when you, only when you're doing this proof, if you want to be safe, you take this sign, you put it here, and then you take this sign, you multiply it with that, you get the, the answer there. So let me just do it this way. So you do this, it becomes that. So it's like this. Yeah, something like that, you know. I hope it uh, I hope it helps. So you take this sign, you multiply it with sorry, you take this sign, you put it down here, and then you take this sign, you multiply it with that sign, and then it'll it'll give you the sign for that one. So it's a plus, you take it, put it here, it becomes a plus, and then you say plus times plus, it gives you a plus. I hope it makes sense. And then okay. So now the part that you have in factorized, we're going to take it to the other side of the equal sign, to the right hand side. So this is going to be equals to, now the minus b over 2a is going to be plus b over 2a in brackets squared plus, excuse me, the, the c over a is going to change into a minus. So this is going to be minus c over a. Okay. And then now, um, <clears throat> now because these terms, they similar, we can simply write them as x plus b over 2a 
squared because they are similar. Like it's the same thing, it's a repetition. So we can just group them together and put a squared there. So this is going to be equal to, now I'm going to change this one. So I'm going to multiply this square or this two into the bracket. So now I'm going to have b squared over 4a over 4a oof the handwriting is bad over 4a mm, minus c over a all right and then now this one i'm just going to copy it as it is so this one is going to be x plus b over 2a squared is equals to now i'm going to take an lcd for these two numbers the lcd for these two numbers is uh 4a for those who don't know what an lcd is you know so or maybe if you don't know how to determine the lcd you can just take the two numbers the denominators so you take 4a and a you multiply them together it's going to give you 4a squared so it is still a, a denominator for this you know so anyway the denominator that i'm going to use is 4a now how many times does this 4a goes into this 4a it goes once so i'm going to say so now it's going to it's going to be 4a divided by 4a it gives me one and then i multiply with the numerator there then it's going to be b squared so one times b squared is um is one and then i drop this sign as it is i put it there so it's a minus i put it as a minus there now i say how many times does this a goes into 4a so it's simply 4a divided by a it gives me 4 so now 4 times c it gives me 4 um well i can do it this way if i like uh, let me see i made a mistake here so apologies so because now this is squared, right? The b became b squared, the 2 became 4. Now the a is going to become a squared. So this is supposed to be squared. So now the, the LCD, now instead of being 4, it's going to be 4a squared. 4a squared. All right. Um, my apologies for that. Hey, at least, you know, this is mathematics, you know, it's easy to make mistakes. Thank God I was able to see it because I could see that now this is misleading me, you know. So now let me just explain this part again. This part again, right? So you take your LCD, your LCD is going to be 4a squared. So this is going to be 4a squared. And then you put that division line there, right? And then you say, uh, how many times does this 4a squared goes into this 4a squared? It goes there once. Now you take that 1, you multiply it with the numerator, which is b squared. And therefore it's going to be 1 times b squared, which is going to be b squared. Now you say, how many times does a goes into 4a? So it's like, you're saying 4a squared divided by a, which is going to be 4a. So this is going to be... 4ac so because you want to multiply it with that with that c there and then now you drop this sign as it is you drop it down there so now you have b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared now what we're going to do now we want to get rid of this squared the squared here so we want to be left with x with just x plus b over 2a now to achieve that we're going to have to put a square root sign both sides so now when we put a square root sign, it's going to look like b over 2a squared. Now you put a square root sign there. Now remember, when you put a square root sign in mathematics, you need to put a plus or minus on the, on the right-hand side. It's going to be plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Um, all right so now obviously the square root sign it's meant to get rid of that square there so it's going to remove it we're going to be left with x plus b over 2a this is b guys okay is equals to plus or minus 
So now the laws of exponents, sorry, the laws of uh, the SAD rules, you know, the laws of roots, you know, when you apply roots actually, if you have the square root of x over y, this is the same as square root of x over square root of y. You can actually separate them. It is allowed. You can try with, let's say for example, I give you square root of 4 over 16. This is going to be square root of 4 over square root of 16. And therefore the answer is going to be uh, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 16 is 4. Therefore this is going to be 1 over 2. So you can do these calculations. So you can punch this one in a calculator and then you'll see it'll give you a half. So, so we're going to apply the same thing here. We're going to separate the numerator, we're going to give the numerator its own square root sign as well as the denominator its own square root sign. So this is going to be b squared minus b squared minus 4ac, then you give it its own square root sign, then you say divide by square root of 4a squared. All right. So now, we're going to take this b over 2 to the other side now. So when we do that, we are left with x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus. Now, this is not going to change, will remain as the square root of the stuff that is under the square root. So this is going to be square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac divide by divide by so now what is square root of 4a squared? Square root of 4a squared is the same as 2a. Alright? So x is equals to now looking at the denominators between these two, the denominator is the same. Therefore, we can just write one denominator instead of having to separate them. You know, we can just say 2a and then we we'll put a long division line there. And then now, so now we can take this name minus b plus or minus square root of b. b squared minus 4ac. So now this is your quadratic formula which was derived from the quadratic equation. So we used completing the square to get to the quadratic formula. I hope you learned something from this. If there's anything that you don't understand, leave a comment. If there's anything that you like as well, leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. Help us grow. And then also, I would like to add uh, that, you know, um, <clears throat> I made a mistake somewhere here. So I just want to emphasize on this. You know, I made a silly mistake here. So instead of, instead of noticing that, you know, when I square this whole bracket, Everything is going to be squared. So I'm going to have b squared. I'm going to have 4. I'm going to have a squared. So I made a mistake of just writing a instead of a squared, you know. So please, uh, I apologize there. Please forgive me. I hope you are able to notice that, you know, so you don't have to make the same mistake. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something. So this is, uh, this, it brings us to the end of the lesson, you know. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe, share with your friends, share with your cousins, share with all your, you know, your social media groups, you know, let every, ev let everybody know, confuse everyone, you know, because we want everyone to know about this channel, we want everyone to know about um, how to go about in terms of, you know, preparing for their final exams, you know. So, hope you enjoyed. Cheers.